In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some Revit schedule appearance tips that are going to get your Revit schedules from looking like something that accountant might present to something that an architect would be proud to show. Let's go. Now quickly, before I jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours of content dedicated to all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. And now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit and this is the schedule which I'm going to be using for this demonstration. And the first thing that you want to do before you start playing around with the appearance is you want to get an accurate representation of what that appearance is actually going to look like. And we don't really get that in the schedule view. So if you're here in your schedule quantities and you open up your schedule, this isn't really giving you the correct appearance of what that's going to look like once printed. So you need to go here to your sheets, open up a sheet or create a new sheet, and then you want to place that schedule on that sheet. So I'm just going to place it here just like so. So we have that schedule placed on a sheet and then uh, let's actually place it like this. Yeah, perfect. And now once we have the schedule placed, then uh, let's go and let's tile views. So here on the view panel, we have the option to tile views and it's basically going to place these side by side. Actually, I'm just going to switch sides. So let's place this one here. So here we have the kind of the appearance on the sheet, what that's going to look like. And you also here want to make sure that the thin lines are turned off so you can get the correct line weights and then you make all of the changes in the actual schedule itself. So first, let's make some changes when it comes to the uh, columns and their size. So you can just click on one of the columns and then here we have the resize option and I'm just going to change actually all of them to 40 millimeters. So I'm just going to be repeating this for the rest of them. Now, if your schedule is now a little bit too wide, what you can do is you can just hold the control key and then you can zoom in and out to make it smaller or larger so, or to zoom in and out to be exact. So I'm just going to kind of change this a little bit so I can place it like that. And now we can continue making changes. So once we have the, uh, the column uh, size set up, let's set up the header of the schedule. So here it's called a wall schedule. That's perfectly fine, but let's add another row below that. So I'm just going to go here to rows, insert, and then below selected and it's going to insert a row below selected and then let's select these two cells here for the type mark and type and then I'm just going to merge those two and then let's select these three that are above uh, function storage usage and fire rating and we're going to merge those as well. This one I'm going to call function so let's just type out function and this one will be type dash mark or slash mark. And there we go. So now we have added these two additional fields. Uh, now let's add one additional field here. So again, I'm just going to go here to the wall schedule. I'm going to insert one below. And then in this case, I'm going to select these four fields and then I'm going to uh, merge those together. And then here I'm going to be adding my logo. So let's click in this field. Let's go to insert image. And then I'm just going to find my logo image. So this is the image that they want to use. I'm just going to hit open and it's going to load that in. And in this field, I'm just going to type out Balkan architect. Now, uh, once this is done, I also want to have my name closer to the logo. So let's click here. Let's go to the appearance and then let's play around with the alignment. So here I'm just going to set the alignment to left. So the Balkan architect is going to be close to the logo itself. And also here, just looking at these two uh, or this text in the header, I might want to make some changes to the actual font. So let's click here. Let's go to font. Now this is Arial and let's change this from three millimeter to 3.5 and make it bold just like that. And then for the function as well. So 3.5 and make it bold. Okay. 
just like that. And then for the Balkan Architect text, let's change that as well. So I'm just going to change it to 3.5 and make it bold. Okay, so once we have this done, let's then adjust the size of these two cells. So what they wanna do is I just wanna select uh, these two and then I want to go to resize. So this is a horizontal or so, or basically we, uh, we set up the size of the whole column here, but then for this, we can set up the size for the row itself. So let's resize this row and let's try something like seven millimeters. And then you just wanna make sure here it looks good in the actual uh, sheet. And finally for the title uh, wall schedule, let's make that a bit larger. So let's go with five millimeters and make it bold as well. And as you can see, this is what that looks like then. Okay, so having done all of this, uh, next let's move to the actual borders of the schedule and make some changes there. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the schedule, uh, go here to the other, and then here we can find our appearance. So when we click on edit, this allows us to make changes to the appearance. And here I want to add an outline. So let's click OK. So what this will do is this will give us basically an outline going all the way around, but also I want that outline to be in wide lines. So once I click OK, it's just going to give us wide lines. So when you zoom in here, you can see this is now a wider line than the kind of inner lines. Okay, so we've done that. Then let's go back to appearance. So let's go back here. You need to click in the actual uh, window of the schedule to get the uh, properties for that schedule. And then let's go back to appearance. And then here also, I want to make sure to have stripe rows. So when I click apply, you're going to see it. Basically it makes them, uh, one of them is light gray and the other one is white. So it's a little bit easier to kind of track uh, the rows. So you can actually play around with colors here. This is the first row color and this is the second row color. So the second row color is set to white and then the first row color is set to gray. So you can actually change this. You can make the first one white, for example, if you want. And then for the second one, I'm just going to make this, uh, yeah, let's make it grayish bluish like that. Let's click okay. So now, as you can see, we have switched. So the first one is white and then it goes into that kind of grayish bluish. So you can play around. You can have them both colored if you want. Uh, I, I prefer to have it like this. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Now let's change the borders. Okay, so I'm just going to make a selection like this on top and then let's go to borders. I'm going to set this to outside and then set it to wide lines on the outside, just like that. Click OK. So now when you zoom in, as you can see, it's going to have those wide lines on the outside of this kind of header of our schedule that we have here. So there we go. Those are some basic settings. We can also add some shading. So I'm just going to click here in the wall schedule and then let's go to shading. So click here on shading and then let's make it very light gray like this. And there we go. So that's going to conclude this schedule. I think it looks way better than before. And of course you can continue playing around and make it a bit more interesting if you want. If you want to get access to this Revit project file or any of my other Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.